Hello listeners, I will explain here the meaning of my name Zoya and the correct spelling in English and incorrect spelling, which is my spelling and my documents incorrect and the reason for that. And Russian spelling, we see here in red color right there, you see it looks like a little bit uh, number 30. So this is Russian Z. The first one, three, is Russian Z letter the second is o like in all languages spanish for example o in english we pronounce it o but it's russian just o and the last is like in the mirror um, capital letter r in english in the mirror um, left to right the other way is ya it is the last letter of russian alphabet ya so in russian uh, language uh, russian language um lettering we also call Cyrillic alphabet Russian alphabet or Cyrillic alphabet so in red color we see here in Cyrillic alphabet and Russian alphabet written my name Zoya the name Zoya is not very popular in Russian culture it is popular but it's kind of like usually like uh, old women I don't know it's uh, it's not as popular as Tatiana, Natasha, Sveta, Olya it's not as popular as this very Irina, as a very, very popular Russian name with Natasha. Let's start. Everybody knows Natasha. And uh, so Zoe is not as popular. However, it is Russian name. The origin of my name is, um, yes, the meaning of my name in Greek language is very important for everybody, for all human beings, life and soul. At first, I only knew the, na the meaning uh, life, but then I spoke with a medical doctor uh, who was of Greek origin online many years ago, and he said, actually, it's not exactly life, it's kind of like soul, life and soul. So this is the most ever important meaning of the name. And uh, many people b believe different things, but I do believe that people who know about the name origin of their name uh, may live by, by that, you know, by the meanings and, you know, different people believe in uh, zodiac signs, uh, astrology and things like that. So, of course, everything is uh, in life connected. And many things are for reason. There are many coincidences, but there are also many things for reason. Many things are results of somebody's actions and for example, this name was given given to me by my father. My father passed away of deadly disease when I was a few months old. So I know him only by pictures, but I know him very well by the stories of my mom. She uh, told many stories and she said that they uh, chose name for me. My older sister was um, uh, six or something. He already passed away six, so a little bit younger. Uh, six and um, my brother about 11 and they were pulling the name out of the some kind of head and my mom wanted a different name for me um longer one <laughs> um, and everybody everybody pulled zoya so this is how i was named however not only that you know funny uh, you know uh, incident how how i was named uh, how they were pulling the name for me but also a uh, very important fact in Russian history, Soviet Union history, that we have um, the hero of a great patriotic war with Hitler, um, 1941 to 1945, we, we have the hero Zoya Kosmodemyanskaya. Actually, my father called me by the name of that hero. She was a young girl, 17 years old, and fascists uh, hanged her. Uh, somewhere in the village, uh, not far from Moscow, some village, N not some, but Petrishev, actually, the name of the village. They put her in the freezing uh, in the winter, in, in the uh, frost, you know, uh, 25 degrees, you know, very big, uh, very big frost uh, in one undershirt. And um, so she was, um, she was uh, shouting to people. She said the last words of Zoya were to people who gathered around you know because they always wanted people to see you know how they hang somebody 
Um, and she said, don't be afraid of them. Um, our cause is right. Мы победим, наше дело правое. Uh, we will win. Victory will be ours. And uh, so, my name is very meaningful. Whatever you look at it, it's very meaningful. Look how interesting is the um, spelling of it in Russian language. Uh, my American friend uh, always jokes that it's number 30 and uh, R, you know, left to right, uh, Zoya. And uh, the correct spelling in English language would be uh, some of you have read uh, the novel by Daniel Steele. There is such writer who, whom I, by the way, have never read. I'm sure she probably uh, she writes bestsellers. And one of your novels is Zoya. Um, it's some, something about Russian nobility who uh, escaped to Paris uh, during the revolution, I, I believe. Uh, that novel, I have never read it. I, I saw that novel, I think even maybe I had it in my home. I, I don't remember somebody gave it to me. But this is the correct spelling, orange color here, the orange color. So when um, an American uh, sees this name, Z-O-Y-A, they will read it correctly, Zoya. There is no other way how can you read that name, Zoya, you know. And the name... As I, as I noticed, the name have become popular in the last, I don't know, five, ten years. They have named Zoe, Zoe, different variants of that. But I'm happy that I'm here explaining because it was in my, on my mind uh, since long to explain the meaning of the name. So the correct spelling is uh, orange, but in my passport, in my documents is not correct spelling. Why? Because I... I'm from, uh, I was born during Soviet Union. I was born in one of the Baltic Republics. The language of that Baltic Republic, we, which are three of them, Baltic Republics on Baltic Sea, obviously in Europe, not far from Poland, from Germany, who don't know like better, okay. Um, one hour flight to London will be from uh, Riga, capital of Latvia. The language of uh, Latvia is Latvian language. So, my name is spelled with mistake in my passport when I was uh, entering country uh, 29 years ago. Uh, why? Because in Latvian language, Latvian language uses Latin alphabet, Latin alphabet. However, they have a few letters which are characteristic for, for some Slavic languages of Europe, for example, uh, Polish or Czech or Slovak or maybe one of Yugoslavian uh, languages, uh, th they have such letters to that Latin alphabet. They also have letters, uh, consonants Z, Ch, Sh, which uh, English uh, speakers do not have them. We need to express Z, like pleasure measure, you know how they spelled, right? Um, also, when I... Uh, 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 explain that uh, uh, pronunciation I need to uh, uh, represent Z by Z and H. Yes, Z. Uh, they, they have the, those letters with a little like little tails on the top or how do you call it, little cap on the top. Okay, so they have Z, Sh. If I want to represent it in English, uh, we don't have Sh in English language. I have to show S and H and will be Sh. For example, shut, you know, or shoes, you know, sh, yeah. So, but they do have that. However, Latvian language, they do not have Y. As we see here, orange color, the letter Y of English alphabet, of Latin alphabet, they do not have letter Y. They have those other letters, which English uh, alphabet does not have, but uh, they do have, but actually it is Latin alphabet, not Cyrillic, right? It's still a Latin alphabet. They just have the, uh, some special characters. Uh, however, they don't have Y. They do not have concept of the letter Y. That's why they could not possibly spell my name correctly. Even they knew, because it was American, obviously, consulate, that I was flying to USA. However, they, this is how they spelled my name, with mistake. With I, letter I. Actually, correctly, in Latvian language, there should be J, letter J. However, I am kind of grateful that they didn't, didn't put J there. Uh, this is the way it's written in Latvian language, Zoya, with J, right? Zoya. 
because uh, J would be absolutely confusing for English speakers. For Spanish, it would be Zoha, by the way, H in Spanish. So s some knowledge they had, those people who were writing my passport in, in Latvia, yes. But they didn't have like all that much knowledge. That's how they spelled the uh, name anyway. Uh, as a result here, you know, um, how, how many cl uh, classes I went to here in my master's degree and uh, different ki kind of classes. And Americans usually ask, how do I pronounce your name? Am I correct? Am I pronouncing correctly? Zoya, and they are very cautiously there. They, are, they don't want to make a mistake. They don't want to offend the person. It's very sweet how people uh, always very cautiously ask, how do I pronounce your name? Because my name, my name spelled like pink color here with I, and it is a mistake. And it is named Zoya. Zoya. Okay. So to summarize all of it, we have on the bottom uh, red color Cyrillic, Russian alphabet, Zoya. Uh, it is not as popular as very popular uh, women's names in Russian culture. However, it's of, obviously of Greek origin. Um, I already told you the important meaning it, has, meaning it has, and for me, more meaning, how my father called me for, um, in honor of uh, what character my father called me, I told you, so my name is very important to me. I live with my name all, all my life, and I do remember all the meanings which under it, and I do uh, act kind of, uh, you know, remembering those meanings. And one more time, orange color, this would be correct spelling of it in English uh, representation of English language, Zoya. And pink color, this is actually how my, my name spelled. Um, and it is incorrect spelling because, because of the rules of the uh, European you know, Republic. Uh, they do not have a Y in their alphabet and th this is how they spelled it good that they didn't spell it uh, spelled it with uh, j and by the way when i say spelled or spelled both are correct so for my esl students because spelled is a uh, you know possible um, of past participle spelling with t and uh, ed usually we use as regular verb in, in american culture thank you very much i am happy that i was able to explain to you the spelling of my name and because I look on online and I see different ways, you know, and they have companies and they have like enamel, uh, you know, uh, for, uh, you know, enamel for nails, um, you know, with, with that name and it's spelled differently. And I thought, what uh, disorder? I have to explain. This is my name. I have to uh, explain once. And I'm very happy that I have done that. Um, um, I know it was interesting for somebody because I gave here a few different uh, facts. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, good luck to everybody. And I will see, I will hear you, I will see you in the next lecture. Bye.